John, first of all, congratulations on uh, joining us at the U.S. Sport Aviation Expo and what appears to be an excellent launch on the deposit taking process for the Cirrus SRS. Tell us, what's the numbers looking like so far? Well, we thank you very much. The response has been overwhelming. We're uh, pushing 100 uh, orders at this point. Uh, just started taking them day before yesterday. So we're very encouraged, very happy with the response. And uh, people jumping in line, looking to step up and get one of the early positions. Sounds like a winner. So 100 orders in a little bit over two days. Not too bad. Uh, not too bad. You know, we like that kind of rate. We wish we could get it across our whole product line. But uh, that's why we have the SRS kick well, things off and start things. Well, that's what 2009 is for. You guys got to work up to it slowly but surely. <laughs> well, Alan thought that was for 2004. So we're, we're doing everything we can. So Hustling. Well, you know, Alan, what can you say? <laughs> yes. Well, we say we got great leadership. Again, uh, with Alan and Dale, the, uh, the brothers, uh, with their vision, uh, what they see for the industry, for the marketplace, the Light Sport aircraft really fits into what they've planned and wanted to accomplish all the way through. Uh, so now with the Light Sport on the bottom end, jet coming on the top end, we're starting to get to where we're really starting to fulfill Allendale's original vision and what uh, we can be as a company and what we hope we can all do together as an industry. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. Tell me if you would. Um First of all, how are people receiving it here? There's an awful lot of different aircraft here at the Sport Aviation Expo. Everything from the basic ultralight all the way on up to things that go way past the LSA definition. And you know, a lot of different platforms, high wing, low wing, mid wing, pushers, pullers, you name it. Um, where is the SRS in all this? What, what are you hearing from people as far as those who are interested and why? And again, you're very correct with the diversity that is here. And uh, we, we think we've got a product. What we're hearing from the prospects and from the deposit holders is that they see this as being a really fun aircraft. Uh, looks like it's going to do what they need it to do. Uh, they're going to be able to have fun with it. Uh, they like the, 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 the composite construction, the, the sturdiness of the aircraft. So we're seeing that they really are impressed with the vehicle itself. Probably more so than that, they like the fact that from a uh, company standpoint, we'll have the service support, the training networks to go with it and really put the whole package together. So rather than just a fun vehicle that looks great and you can have a great time go on flying, we've got a whole uh, support network behind it to make sure that it keeps flying. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high performance, easy to own and easy to operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. The plan, as I understand it, is to Cirrusize this airplane, to make it an airplane attractive to the Cirrus community as a function of either the upgrade to or as a secondary airplane for the guys looking for something pea patching when they just don't want to go anywhere, which they have their SR-20 or SR-22 for. Yes, very much so. I mean, Peter Funk, FK Light Planes, did a great job developing the aircraft. There are minor things that do tie it into the Cirrus line a little bit better. So one of the changes from Oshkosh, we have the castering nose wheel on this aircraft now. Excellent. We've changed the flap design. We've gone to a um, little bit wider seats than the, the Europeans had had. And, um, so we are Cirrusizing it, and you'll continue to see more things to change it, make it fit into our line a little bit better, and, and have the, the Cirrus quality to it. We still have the ballistic parachute, the composite construction, so all the big points are there. Now we want to try to get the comfort, the ergonomics, the performance, and the value to really fit in with the whole Cirrus line. What are the plans from here on out? When will we see SRSs in the sky? Well, we're continuing to do the development to Cirrusize the product and rushing to get it as quickly as possible. The target date right now is first half of 09 for customer deliveries. Okay. 
And what do you expect uh, initial production to be like? How, how many of these things are going to show up? And a lot of that's going to depend on what we see the demand to be. Um, right now, this, the, the response is, is phenomenal. Uh, we're going to try to match our production to the demand that's out there. We still need to gear that and judge that. It's part of the reason for taking deposits here and then figure out the capabilities uh, between the, the partner companies, FK and Cirrus, to find out where to make it and, uh, and how many to make. So all those decisions are still things we're working towards, and we'll probably have answers for you on that later this year.